In an age of travel, technology and online global communities, the concept of national borders is quickly becoming fallible. So then as neighbours, how can we allow parts of our communities to enjoy peace and prosperity while other parts are mired in conflict? At the One Young World Summit, leaders old and young come together to say, enough. Let's make the solutions to tomorrow's problems today. Founded in 2009, One Young World is a global forum which draws young leaders from 190 countries to discuss challenges in their communities ranging from human rights and leadership to global business and sustainable development. This year's opening ceremony saw luminaries such as President Mary Robinson and Sir Bob Geldof kick off three days of discussion by speaking out against world conflict and the effects of Ebola in Africa. They were not dying of hunger. They were dying because they had no money to get food, because the state had no systems, because it had no money. They are not dying of this filthy little virus in West Africa. They are dying because unlike in Madrid and Texas, they do not have the doctors, the nurses, the, med the Medicare. They are dying, they are dying because they are poor. I don't like that. That cannot stand. Held annually in cities which capture a spirit of growth and peace from conflict, Dublin follows Johannesburg in playing host. With 50% of Dubliners below the age of 36 and a culture of friendliness, the Irish welcomed about 1,300 delegates with a variety of worldviews. I've been really excited to meet the people here, um, to learn about their efforts both locally and globally and how they're affecting change. I just came to sort of be with other young leaders and sort of see what I can pick up from them and what I can go back and implement in South Africa. I'm excited. There's so many different people here and I think that's the best thing about being here, meeting so many different people, doing so many different amazing things. Um, I heard there's well, like 30, 30, 100 people from all over the world with different backgrounds and I would like to meet each of people and then would like to talk about each of the activities, inspire each other, and maybe we can do some collaboration in the future. Among the South African delegates was inspiring Malibongwe Kaaba, who motivates youth from his community to become productive citizens despite difficulties such as violence and poverty. My organization is Youth with the Brights of Future. We deal with helping young people in terms of finding themselves because young people in my community, they struggle moving forward. So what we do, we go to schools and we talk to young people, we motivate them, we help them with life skills, we help them to find their feet. And I always say to young people that just because you grow up in a disadvantaged community doesn't mean that you are disadvantaged. Actually, you have an advantage. So I encourage them that they mustn't look down on themselves. And when I did the campaign, I did a campaign which was 100 schools in 60 days. And SABC saw my initiative and they were really moved by my initiative. So I got a sponsor to come to One Young World. And what is the one thing that you're gonna take away from your journey now? Well, I always make sure that I create good relationships. For me, it's not about what kind of message did I hear, but what kind of relationships did I create? I made some good relationship with other uh, delegates from South Africa, and we want to start an initiative where we're going to take South Africa by storm. So they need to watch out for us, because the South African delegates, one young world delegates, are going to take South Africa by storm. Not only are the young people here networking with one another and tackling some pressing issues, they're also sending some positive thoughts out into the universe via this wall where they write one wish for the world. And it's a small consideration, but if 1,300 delegates can take one small step, the world has taken 1,300 steps in the right direction. An old African proverb prompts, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. So the question is, how can we be a part of global and positive change, South Africa?